Well, we're going to quickly move on now. Uh, joining us is uh, Ananya Bhattacharya, uh, the director of uh, Banglanatok.com. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Ananya, for joining in today. Now, you work extensively on the ground through Bangla Natok. Tell us what you do and the reality that you see on the ground. Thank you uh, for inviting us to share the story. And I congratulate NDTV for taking this initiative to tell the story of the crafts to the world, crafts of India, because I think that's the most important thing we need to do today. Now, Bangla Natak, our initiative Art for Life, believes that the traditional skills we have, the skills and knowledge we have, that's a tremendous cultural asset, and it is also an asset for development. So Banglanatak.com works across India with traditional artists, uh, folk artists, performing artists, craftsperson, to build what we say create, grassroots creative enterprise and empower them to become creative entrepreneurs. So our philosophy is that while the art is to survive, the artist must be directly linked to the market. And we also need to know about the community, the artist's village. So art, artist village is what we focus on. Yeah. Uh, Ananya, you use culture as a tool for behavioral change in the work you do. So promoting artisans and craftspeople may have more than one positive effect. It could improve their lives beyond just helping them earn a livelihood. Yes, I think that's the biggest learning we had during the pandemic. We work with more than 25,000 artists. And I'm very happy to sh uh, share it with you how we saw their resilience. During this time, as we, we all are aware, the entire market was disrupted. All traditional channels to market were disrupted owing to the pandemic. And so there was no income. But these artists, they did not give up hope and they invested in innovation and in creating new products. And they upscale themselves to use digital technology. So our artists, they have been using Facebook Live, they have been using WhatsApp, to sell their products. There is a case of, you know, artists like the Patichitra artists in Naya who have created new stories and new scroll paintings on the impact of pandemic. So these are the stories across India. We find the stories of this grassroots movement where they have collectivized and they're taking forward their crafts with tremendous resilience. Yes. I think the time has now come to bust the myths that it is our craft is cheap or craft is repetitive or you know the whole concept of artisanal labor we need to recognize that today we have young artists who are artists and not artisanal labor yes and Ananya. they are learning from their predecessors yes. and they're innovating right Th thank you for this wholesome uh, development of these artisans uh, we have uh, thank you indeed ananya